The Lemons are an international criminal organization. They're made up of four different families based on their models, Gremlins, Pacers, Trunkovs, and the Hugos. There is also one Zundop Janus. Because they are considered ugly and weak cars, the Lemons feel rejected and reject the world in return. The elite cars are equipped with side machine guns and missile launchers. Grem is a dented, rusty orange AMC Gremlin. After years of being dismissed for his design, even being called a lemon, Grem has a big chip on his fender that has led him to the underworld of international espionage. As a henchman for a villainous boss, Professor Zundap, Grem and his partner in crime, Acer, are trying to sabotage the World Grand Prix and the famous race cars competing in it. When Grem and Acer mistake Mater for an American agent with important top secret information, the ruthless lemons set out on a round the globe chase to stop Mater from foiling their evil scheme. Grem is modeled on a 1974 AMC Gremlin. He has a top speed of 91 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 of 17 seconds. His engine is a 232 cubic inch inline six with a one barrel carburetor and 90 horsepower. He is voiced by Joe Mantegna. Acer has always felt like an outcast in the car world. The beat up green AMC Pacer joined forces with his fellow lemon cars as henchmen for the devious Professor Z, whose clandestine mission is to wreak havoc at the highly visible World Grand Prix. Acer must hunt down the American and British secret agents who have stolen crucial information about Professor Z's underhanded plot. His primary target just happens to be Mater, who has been mistaken for a spy. Acer tries very hard to be a tough guy, but he is over-eager compared to his no-nonsense partner, Grem. He is a 1975 AMC Pacer. His top speed is 99 miles per hour with a 0 to 60 of 16 seconds. His engine type is a 232 cubic inch straight six with two barrel carburetor with a horsepower of 120. His license plate reads FSH BWL, a reference to Fishbowl, the nickname that was given to AMC Pacers, among other inscriptions. According to his spy data analysis, Acer is wanted in the United States, China, England, Japan, Spain, and the Czech Republic for grand theft, larceny, blocking traffic, and smog certification. He is voiced by Peter Jacobson. While other boys in school had cool racing stripes, Tyler was stuck with hockey stick stripes, and they were cheap decals to boot. Picked on in school for his goofy graphics and lack of horsepower, it came as no shock that his personality got a bit menacing as time went on. The mischievous Tyler would drive without his headlights on after the dark, or chain a police officer's chassis to a lamppost. He became so salty that if any car so much as tooted their horn, they would get T-boned. Most cars learned to yield to him. If a car tried to stand up to him, they'd have to hit and run because he always came back swinging, just like a hockey stick. Tubbs never set out to lead a crime family. It just worked out that way. As a pacer in the car world, you wouldn't get much respect for your looks, so you have to earn it. That's why he embraced his negative nickname, Upside Down Bathtub, and dubbed himself Tubbs. Before long, he was running with a pack of other disrespected pacers who were also tired of being called jelly beans and junkers. They met up with Professor Z and a whole new bushel of lemons looking for the same car world credibility. Tubbs proved his loyalty to this new family over and over and he soon found himself poised to help take over the world. The dreaded Victor H. is the head of the Hugo crime family. Sure, he's known to break down quite often, has leaky seals and gaskets, and is still waiting on major replacement parts to get him back on the road again. But Mr. H. has got Carl to haul him and Ivan to tow him wherever he needs to go. Now that he's the leader of an entire crime organization, Victor has the other lemons shaking in their tires, and he runs the syndicate like the well-oiled machine that he's not. Victor is a 1983 Volgar Hugo NG1. This is a fictional make and model. He's based on a Hugo GL Zastava Coral. Hugos were infamous for being unreliable and were a failure in the United States. 
hence Victor being the leader of a mafia of unreliable automobiles. Victor Hugo's name may seem surprising, as he shares it with a famous French writer who wrote The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Alexander Hugo is not who you think he is. He is also known as Chop Shop Alex and Alexander the Not-So-Great, among other names. He's got a rap sheet a mile long and connections to the Hugo organized crime family. He's currently wanted in France, Germany, the Czech Republic, and Serbia. So check his rap sheet before you go anywhere with him. He is a personal bodyguard for Victor Hugo. When Mater scans him, it is shown that Alexander is wanted in Serbia. Alexander Hugo's base, Zastava Hugo, was manufacturing there. Jay Kirby is the current patriarch of the Gremlin crime family, but he got there by some unconventional roads. Don't let the rough exterior fool you. He was once Mater D of the flagship restaurant of superstar Motorio Break Tally. He even soaked in the best of the big city's shows. These days, Jay Kirby has turned to a life of mischief serving up danger and singing a more ominous tune. He is a 1974 AMC gremlin from Detroit. His first name is unknown, but it's most likely John according to the French version of Cars 2. When Mater scans Kirby and the other Lemonheads, it is shown that he is currently wanted in the Republic of New Rierendia, which is a fictional country that Rip Klutchkonsky is from. Vladimir Trunkov is the leader of the Trunkov family. Before becoming the leader of the Trunkov family, Vladimir was a gray market parts smuggler behind the Iron Bumper. But when the power of his country shifted back to an autocracy, he changed his name and went underground. Known on the street as Big Ears because of his two side panel air inlets, Vladimir was able to hear trouble coming kilometers before anyone else. With so many close calls, Vladimir doesn't know how many strokes he's got left in his engine. Vladimir is modeled as a ZAZ-968. Vladimir's color scheme reflects the Ukrainian state flag. The ZAZ plant is located in Zaforozhi, Ukraine. When Mater scans Vladimir and the other Lemonheads, it is shown that Vladimir is currently wanted in the Republic of New Rierendia. Fred Fizbowski, also known as Fred Pacer, missed his early days growing up in Kenosha. Back then, he didn't have to worry about being the toughest lemon on the block or where he would get his spare parts. All he had to think about was kicking back and relaxing with fellow pacers and gremlins. As time went on, the factory parts dried up in his hometown, and Fred had to look for new adventures in faraway places. That led him to sign up for work on a mysterious oil rig in the deep Pacific. As long as the pay is steady and the parts don't run out, Fred's not complaining. Petrov hails from a tiny village on the Baltic Sea, where temperatures in winter drop down to a frigid negative 10 degrees Celsius. And if that's not enough, the salty air and rocky roadways have irreversibly corroded his body panels. But Petrov really doesn't mind. In fact, he likes the engine air very cool and thinks the bubbling rust makes him look more mileage mature. Add the fact that he carries most of his weight in his rear end, and it's a wonder he doesn't break in half when the going gets rough. Keith was a green gremlin who worked for Professor on the oil rig. He chased Finn McMissile after the latter was discovered hiding on the rig. During the chase, McMissile spouted oil from his rear taillights, causing Keith to spin out of control. Keith fell off the oil rig plummeting thousands of feet into the Pacific Ocean and was killed by the impact. Most tow trucks just look tough, but Ivan is really tough. From his front grill to his rear hook, he's built solid. What else would you expect from Victor Hugo's personal chauffeur? The rumor that he demolished a subcompact with one drop of the tow boom may sound preposterous but it's absolutely true. Still, every tough truck has a weakness, and for Yvonne, it's helping a pretty sports car with a flat tire. All she has to do is give a wink and a shy smile, and he's ready with roadside assistance. Yvonne resembles a 1955 Chevrolet 4100 tow truck, though his actual model in the car's world is a 1983 Hukov H9. Carl Halzimov. Carl Halzimov has one job, to take Victor Hugo wherever he wants to go. 
a luxury transporter for the rich and the villainous, Carl keeps his privacy glass up and his eyes on the road, and he doesn't ask too many questions. Sure, he misses the simpler days of moving legitimate business cars to and from garages, but hauling the main crime boss is just too lucrative for him to even think about getting out now. Carl is a 2007 Port Tour Chauffeur VH. His design appears close to that of a 2002 Iveco Stralis AS. He was the truck that Mater was loaded into when he was kidnapped by the Lemons. Don Crumlin is a gremlin who works for Professor Z. He is a 1974 AMC Gremlin X, and he is named after Pixar production worker and animator Don Crum. Muggsy Lift Sub being stuck on an oil rig for 90-day shifts, Muggsy has found himself watching a lot of old movies. He absolutely loves film noir and has been known to reenact scenes from his favorite crime thrillers. He lifted the name Muggsy to give himself more deep-sea cred, but who's he kidding? He's a harmless rig worker. When Professor Z comes on deck to address his minions, Muggsy knows it's time to snap back into forklift mode and get lifting. Muggsy is a 2006 lift loader. Tolga is one of Vladimir Trunkov's henchmen. He was defeated when Holly Shiftwell crashed him and another Trunkov into a pair of pacers. Petey was sprayed with lather from a fire extinguisher used by Finn, then turned around the corner and crashed into a security officer. Petey was later arrested by the officer. Tony Trihole is one of the heavily equipped combat ships who works for Professor Z. He serves as a guard and transportation for the Professor and the Lemons. Tony used a magnetic device to pull the Professor to him. McMissile shot several onto Tony's magnet, causing a huge explosion which resulted in Tony's ultimate demise. Tony is modeled after the USS Independence LCS-2, a trimaran littoral combat ship in service with the US Navy. It is reflected in his whole number 02 and last name Trihole. He is voiced by Lloyd Cher, who also voiced Fillmore in Cars 2. If you enjoy this video, you know what to do.